whether you're here on holiday or looking for a great staycation, this week we are exploring the triangle below Canal Street, Tribeca, full of great shops, amazing architecture, and fabulous food. During colonial times, it was the first residential community to be built outside of the city, and in the 1800s, it became a commercial center. But it's hard to believe that some of the most expensive real estate found here today used to be a swampland. Tony, try and imagine, before the noise, before the traffic, Canal Street was Lispinard Meadows. A beautiful way of saying a fetid saltwater swamp <laughs> on the west side of Manhattan. In the lovely neighborhoods we now call Tribeca and Soho. Between 1800 and 1806, we dug a canal here on Canal Street to drain the lake nearby, to drain the swamp, and take away all the rolling hills and make it nice and flat for real estate. That with garbage, sunken ships, and other debris, we extended Manhattan out into the Hudson River, creating Tribeca. We quickly fill in the canal. With the building of the Erie Canal, the west side of Manhattan in Tribeca is perfectly situated to be directly connected to the New York Harbor and Europe and the Hudson River and Western America as far as the Great Lakes. This neighborhood in 1825 becomes the industrial heart and soul of Manhattan, and that tradition carries up all the way into the early 20th century. Water played another crucial role in the development of this neighborhood, because before refrigeration, the Hudson River kept our food cold. This neighborhood was known as the butter and milk markets, particularly the Washington Market just around the corner. These buildings kept everything cold by being designed with walls that are six to eight feet thick. They had a pumping system where they would pump water from the bottom of the Hudson in a circular pattern up into the building to keep the ice inside those walls cold, which would then keep the milk and the butter and the eggs cold. So you don't use the cold water of the Hudson to chill the products, you use it to chill the ice. Behind me, the building's red brick with the mansard roof is the exchange building. This is where the people who own the buildings around us would come and trade and buy and sell the produce that New Yorkers could be guaranteed would be ice cold with water from the Hudson. 